So the lawyer who represented the so-called DC madam several years ago says he wants to keep on pushing to release the names of her clients. This after the U.S. Supreme Court announced on Monday that it rejected his bid to release those customer records. And he brought us the first story. Now John Hines has more from Washington on this, including why uh, there's this claim that the records are relevant to this presidential election. Take a look. There is information in the eight-year-old case of the so-called D.C. Madam Escort Service that is especially relevant in this election year, says the attorney in the case, Montgomery Blair Sibley. But Sibley cannot release any of the phone numbers, names, or addresses he has because the court has sealed the records. He has caught the attention of two Supreme Court justices, both of whom have refused to help. Now Sibley says he wants to continue pressing for a legal solution. I'm not going to release the list publicly because when I do, they take away my keyboard and my internet access and you and I wouldn't be chatting here, we'd have to be chatting through a jail cell. And my initial inclination was just to stand on the Supreme Court steps and, and release it publicly. But I think my, uh, my allegiance to the rule of law, which is this country is founded on, is greater than the problem that I'm presently uh, presented with. Nevertheless, Sibley believes that timing is important because of current events. I know whose names are on the list, and I have reason to believe that they are relevant to the election cycle, the presidential election cycle, and the 435 members of uh, the House of Representatives that are up in November as well. But Sibley says that Obama's Supreme Court nominee and current chief judge of the D.C. Circuit Court, Merrick Garland, has kept the case bottled up for his own reasons related to a separate court case. Garland referred to these reasons in a letter to Sibley. The reason I believe is that Supreme Court nominee Judge Garland, who is the chief judge of the um, Circuit Court of Appeal where my case is pending, and it is he, it is he who has held it up for over almost two months now, he does not want me to get into open court. Because the day I get into open court, uh, his letter, the letter he sent me, covering up what I believe was criminal behavior and refusing to let it see the light of day, he has a problem. Because if I'm an open court, I'm going to open my mouth about that. In the end, Sibley's plan is simple. He's appealing to the public. I think I just have to stare them down. And hopefully the public will start asking the same questions. And maybe it, someone will ask one of the candidates, do you think Sibley should have 15 minutes in open court? And maybe, maybe someone's going to start realizing that it looks pretty bad if a court thinks they can shut you up. I can't file my documents. That's the problem. By appealing to the court of public opinion, Sibley may one day receive his day in court. And once that day comes, the American people may know more than they want to know about the powerful people running their nation's capital. John Hines, One American News, Washington.